I was going to quit and my co-worker just put in her two weeks. I actually just made a post the other day, but I work as a designer on a very small marketing team. The only and other senior designer just put in her two weeks, with no backup plan. This just goes to show how much this company exploits their workers and demands them to do high quality work in a short period of time. I'm really at a loss for words because I am a junior designer doing lots of tasks that are not entry level. I've also been dealing with a lot of health issues the past couple months, and I know they're going to try and promote me. To be honest I was on my way out and she beat me to the punch. I would really appreciate some advice on this situation because I'm very bad with advocating for myself and this is my first job out of college. Monday is actually my performance review, and I have a list of genuine concerns about the situation. So, to be clear, you were going to leave but everyone above you is leaving or quitting and you have a review on Monday? Sounds like you have leverage. Nothing to lose and everything to gain. Remember that your employer can't physically hurt you, eat you, or harm your loved ones. Best they can do is yell, attempt to posture, and at best inconvenience you, so what power do they really have? You've been yelled at before and survived. You have been inconvenienced before and survived. Go to the performance review and listen to them. Tell them you want a promotion and a pay bump. If they say no, turn in your notice and tell them you are leaving today. If they say yes, do the job for a month then quit. You said it was a bad environment, you would just be staying to cement the fact you served as whatever title they gave you. More people need to realize they are no different than mercenaries. You sell your time for an agreed upon price for an agreed upon duration with set goals. Any deviation requires renegotiation. Remember that they would be fine with terminating you tomorrow with no regrets so you need to adjust how you view your employee slash employer relationship. Here is a solid method to approach these things when dealing with your employer when they egregiously demand you go far beyond your assigned duties without compensation, fuck you, pay me. To be honest I was on my way out and she beat me to the punch. Her leaving and you leaving have nothing to do with one another. First thing first, do you want a promotion, raise or do you want to leave? If you wanted to leave and the company is toxic, getting a raise or promotion won't make you any happier. I'm in my 30s and been in your shoes. Happy to offer advice either way. I understand needing the money and sucking it up for a bit. Especially if you were promoted which gives you a new title on your resume for then getting a better job somewhere else. You're young. Don't sacrifice health. You mentioned health issues. I'm happy to offer more advice either way depending which way you want to go. Advocating for yourself is scary at first but with some coaching it's very easy and will make your feel much more confident and in control. Good luck friend call me hand. Get the promotion so on your resume you can put your new title and when you look for another job. You owe the company nothing. If the company folds because everyone left at once it's absolutely not the fault of the last one leaving. It's the fault of the company that drove them away. None of that is your problem. That's their problem as a business to figure it out. They don't think about what you're going to do when they fire you so why should you think about what they're going to do if you quit? You shouldn't. You will see absolutely zero profit or loss thereof if they go under because you leave. Their problems are their problem not yours. 1. Demand promotion 2. Look for new job, listing your new title which will raise your pay 3. Quit and start new job. You will be in absolute hell if they promote you. I'm very familiar with your field and the type of place where you work. The problem with places like this is they are cheap and will wring every bit of labor out of you. Then severe ties once you're burned out, uninspired or they have to pay you more through raises. My takeaway is, if you are learning new skills and feel challenged but supported it's a good to stick around for a little. If you are already underpaid, under supported and overworked it's time to find a place that will help you grow and advance in your field. 
Your colleague quitting has no bearing on you leaving. If you were planning to quit, keep to your plan. If your employer were treating you well, you wouldn't have been looking to leave in the first place. Staying will just give them the eye that you don't mind being treated like dirt. Sounds like their budget just got freed up for you to get a significant raise if you'll be doing the work of two people until they hire someone. Remember, a title change doesn't pay your bills. And remind them that work doesn't get done if they don't have workers. The person that can walk away from a negotiation has all the power. You are getting ready to quit. They can't afford to lose you, period. You have all the power. 1. Go into your review and tell them need a big pay bump. 30. 50 percent. Or whatever big number you want. Because this is what you would get if you went somewhere else. Point 2. Tell them the raise must take effect immediately. Not sometime down the road. Point 3. Tell them you are going to resign if you don't get it. Point 4. Give them a deadline. One day or two days. But you must have a deadline. Don't let them drag it out for weeks or months. Which is what they will do if you don't give them a deadline. If you don't get the raise by the deadline, hand them a resignation letter giving them no more than two weeks notice. That's the standard in US business. You don't owe them more because they are in a bind. I'm a designer too. It's insane how exploited we are as a workforce. Designers are needed everywhere. So I'd say if the pay isn't worth it, just start looking for a new job. You've seen the door. Now you just have to open it. Your other employees leaving has nothing to do with what you were planning, chose to plane. You already know what you were going to do. Your boss, superior does not care about you. 100% if you have the fallback financial wise. Get the fuck out and go for gold to try for better. Which shouldn't be hard. All the best from down under. Mate. If you were going to resign you should still do so. What the company does in future is not your responsibility. You do not have to remain just because someone else left first your reasons for wanting to leave. Are still valid. Employers like to exploit decent people. Since most decent people care about their job and other people in the workplace employers know that. It is easy to manipulate them into thinking remaining to help them is your responsibility. Here is the thing. Would that employer go out of its way for you? Do they care about your future? The answer is usually no. So why should anyone go out of their way to help them? Individuals need to respect their own value and act according to their best interests. Unless you have one of those rare bosses that truly does care and shows it. You can still quit. Employers like to talk a lot about family and loyalty, but will do very little to support employees. And they rarely give notice when firing someone. If you want to stay or stay long enough to find something else, then I suggest going into the review with the mindset that you are already doing a job above your pay grade, and need compensation to match that. You also need to know in writing what title and compensation increases you'll be getting before you accept any additional work or responsibility. You also need to know what the plan is for hiring so the team has the bandwidth to do the work being asked of them, not just replacing the person who has left, but expanding the team. Don't agree to more work or responsibility, just for now, or, until we hire someone. They have a whole person's salary they are not paying now. They should be sending some of it your way. And all of this is if you want to stay. Long enough to find something better. You are in a position of power here. And your employer will likely do everything they can to make you think you are not. Okay. So here's what you do. First, I'll echo what a lot of other people said below. Dot you both leaving is just a coincidence. Doesn't have anything to do with each other. Second, go to your performance review. Let them promote you. Share your concerns. If they end up promoting you, 
Make sure you get everything in writing and show enthusiasm for the job. Have your new title kick in. Get one paycheck that shows your bump in pay and if your concerns are still there. Put your two weeks in. They'll never see it coming and now you have that experience on your resume which will no doubt help in your next job opportunity. Good luck op and give us an update next week if you can. What does your co-worker quitting have to do with your career planning? If you have chosen a path for your future then stay true to yourself. Don't start concerning yourself about how the company will survive. They are the authors of their own misfortune. If the work environment was a positive one then people wouldn't be leaving. Keep in mind if they decided they needed to let you go. You would be gone in a flash. Move forward with your life with confidence. If you want the promotion, go for it. Tell them you had planned to put in your notice. You can use that for leverage. If they don't give you the money and benefits you want, put in your notice. The fact they are crappy employers is not your fault. Give them a very, very brief chance to improve. If they don't, leave. I understand everyone saying that her leaving has nothing to do with me leaving. It's hard because of the amount she helped me. I've only been there for 8 months and have been doing a lot on my own as it is. She has been so slammed herself. I can't picture myself working there without her because I have been struggling to stay afloat as it is. I am potentially overcomplicating this. I appreciate everyone's comments. Negotiate a better salary. Enjoy the better salary while looking for a new job. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.